Greetings and salutations, everyone. My name is Featherhoof, and we're back with another game side chat with Stardew Valley. Where things are coming along. We unlocked a whole new place with whole, another set of fish, which I can't wait to find. Uh, we've, um, we're upgrading our pickaxe currently. It's in the, it's in the shop. So it's going to be a, a silver, not silver, iron pickaxe soon. So we can break open more shit. But what we're going to do now, we, my, my immediate goal is to definitely to, um, upgrade my house. I want to upgrade my house at least once because things are getting a little cramped in here. Good, beautiful sunny tomorrow. Fortune teller says. Neutral. Okay. So now that it's raining, I don't even have to worry about planting my plants today. Ooh, the ancient seed took. The ancient seed took. Yes. Good. Good. Release your anger. Give in to your hate. Don't need you. Don't need you. I'll keep the rest, I think. Yeah. No, put the torch away. Don't need a torch to go fishing. At least I don't think so. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go fishing while I talk about today's subject. Today's subject is going to be something that, that came to me in a previous episode that I had to write down. And that would be places I've visited. I'm not an extremely... Jesus. Okay. I'm not an extremely well-traveled person. I'm not. But, um... It's not to say that I haven't been around. I've seen places. I've done things. I have. Believe me. I'm telling the truth. And... One of the most common places I've been... I was about to say, there's no monsters today. Yes, there are. <laughs> so one of the most common places I've been is... I live in Ohio. And I rarely leave Ohio. Like, there's, there's very few reasons I leave Ohio. I mean, I've left it to go to... Anthrocon in Pittsburgh. I've left it to... You know, I, or I've left it to go to Anthrocon in Pennsylvania. Or, I'm sorry, um, Philadelphia. Once, I, I got to go to the, the final Anthrocon in Philadelphia before they moved over to to Pittsburgh. This is really nice. The 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 hotel they were in, I think it was called the oh, what was it called? I can't remember the name of it, but it was really nice. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> and it was actually my first con too. Like that just furry con. That was my first con ever. <laughs> Another book! Awesome! But, uh, so I've been there, I've been to Pittsburgh a couple of times. I've been, uh, I've been up to Cleveland a few times. Very few, actually. But the most common place I've visited in my life that's outside of Ohio is Florida. I've been to Florida so many times. And that's because my, my mother's side of the family all lives in Florida. Well, most of them live in Florida. Like, the vast majority of them live in Florida. So, my father's side of the family is here in Ohio. But, my, my, you know, my family actually takes visits out to go see my mother's side of the family. Quite a bit, quite a bit. At least, at least once a year. We'll, we'll, we'll head down to Florida and we'll see my, my mother's side of the family. And it's, it's a nice trip, but um, for someone as fair-skinned complexion as me, someone who burns as easily as I do, aw, my fishing tackle's all worn out. Aw. And I didn't bring it back up with me. <laughs> Damn it. Someone as fair-skinned and weak-skinned, let's put it that way, as I am. I cut easy. I burn easy. I have a hard time with Florida. And we always go, for some reason, well, actually, I know the reason. It's because my father's a teacher, and we can only go when it's a summer vacation. So we'll go there, and... 
Like I said, in the Jesus, another one of these guys. Ah! Again, what's with the ghosty noise? Why? Why with the ghosty noise? Come on! Come on! Come on! Ooh! Ooh! A new, a catfish. That's definitely going to the community center. I know that there's a section for that. So we'll go during like June, July, August. That's that's when we go to Florida. And for someone like me, that is that's just pain. That's all it is, is pain. But it's always fun. We we visit all the parks, we've been to Universal, we've been to Disney, all of the Dis actually no, not all the Disney's. My family's been to all the Disney's, but I have not. I have never visited, for instance, uh, Animal Animal Kingdom. Never been. Because I've... Oh, wrong sound effect. So I've never had a... Because I've heard bad things about it. I hear it's actually kind of boring. And that it closes super early compared to the other parks. I think it closes at like... What, like five? Like, it's some crazy early amount... Of, like, early time in the day. Which I can understand because it's for the animals' benefit. But... You know, when the other parks stay open to like 9, 10, 11, sometimes past that, it's just, it's, men. you don't really get much time to do anything, do you? Wood. Who buried a, who went and buried a treasure chest of wood? Uh, let's see, been to Bush Gardens? I only, I've only been to Bush Gardens once, actually. I want to go back there because I love, because they actually have this, like, Big stable full of Clydesdales. It's so cool. Those those animals are so huge. It's so awesome. I love I love horses. In case you don't know, I love the horses. And Clydesdales are just massive, massive horses. Uh, but we've never been as far south as say like Miami. So we've been to Daytona. We've been to you know my grandmother used to live in Deltona. We've been to um. Tampa, we've been to Orlando, J J Jacksonville, because my, my aunt lives in Jacksonville. And yes, I say aunt because there's a U in the word. It's not aunt. You know, we, we, we have an agreed upon language here where, you know, letters and, you know, make specific sounds. And when you mix them together, they make a specific other sound. So, yeah, it's not aunt. It's aunt. But what's funny is we call the Titi, because it's uh, it's like a cute, because they're Spanish. My other side of the family is Spanish. And it's like a cute, childish way of saying tia, which is Spanish for for aunt. So we always call it Titi. Titi. But uh, so yeah, we we went to we've been to Florida a lot in my life. Uh, we visited. I want to say it's either Illinois or Indiana twice because um. One of my one of my father's brothers lives out there. We went and visited him. It was it was a nice trip, you know, nice nice little trip. But it wasn't nothing spectacular, you know. It's just we visited him. We didn't actually visit anything around in the area. And the reason we visited him twice is because we visited him once on our way to and once on our way back from a California trip. Oh man, catfish are hard to catch. No! Fuck! I visited California once in my life. I think I was probably... Let's see. My third brother wasn't born yet, so... My third brother was born when I was about nine. So it was about seven. I was about seven, seven years old when we went to visit California. And I'm 34 now, so... That trip took a... We, it was a road trip. So we went through Indiana, Illinois. All that. We went through uh, the Dakotas. We went and saw Mount Rushmore. Because we were going to Northern California to visit my uncle there. And because I was seven, I don't have many memories of it. But I do remember one thing about it. That was the time I was introduced to comic books and superheroes. I had... My father... Bless him. He had a very early X-Men comic. I want to say it was like Uncanny X-Men number four. I mean, something that's like super uber rare and expensive nowadays. 
And he kept it sort of hidden away, but I found it. And I read it like a million times. And it was, uh, I read it like, like I said, I read it like a million times and wear and tear, I destroyed it. I destroyed it as a child. Wrong sound effect. I accidentally destroyed it as a child and I feel bad about that as an adult because it, it's worth so, it, like, those first 10, un uh, wrong sound effect. Those first 10 X-Men comics are worth so much money. At least last time I looked, which what, admittedly was a while ago. But I went to my, you know, my, my uncle's house and my cousin. His room was a bed, a desk, a dresser, and about 30 towers that went from floor to almost ceiling of, of freaking comic books. Comic books just stacked on top of each other. Like, you, you remember Ghostbusters? Um, when they go through the library, it's like, that's right, Ray, no human would stack books like this. Well, no human would stack comic books like this. It was the exact the exact same way. And he he was like, do you like X-Men? Do you like this, that, the other? I'm like, I don't know what those are. I know X-Men. I saw, I read one comic. You know, I'm seven years old. I, I, don't, I don't know what the hell he's talking about. So, he's like, here. And he just, he just starts going through his room, going through the stacks, just going through them. And finally, he pulls out this, he's got maybe eight different comic books. He just hands me. He's like, here. I'm like, oh, okay, I'll read these. And I give him back. He says, no, no, here, have them. But like, really? He's like, yeah, have them. He said, you, you heard of X-Men, right? I'm like, yeah. So he gave me all these, like a bunch of different comics that were X-Men related. He gave me like a Punisher one and a go I think there was a Ghost Rider one in there. I still have them. If I went to the other room, I could find them. But, um... But prominently among them... Was, um... A certain comic that had the face of Colossus on it. The X-Men Colossus. And it struck me the most. Like, Colossus being held back by... By Bishop holding one arm and Iceman holding the other. Trying to hold him back. I, Colossus going on a rage. And though I didn't know it at the time, that's, like, totally out of character for Colossus. Because he's, like... He's a fucking pacifist of the group. He's he's my favorite X-Men. I love fucking Colossus. He's my boy. Actually, you know what? Because I only have one of these left. I'm going to get rid of it. Not much back, but it is what it is. And from that day on, I, that's when I started collecting comics. I, I, I didn't get very far, because most it was around that same time I also started getting... Um, an allowance for doing chores, and my brother got in that Game Boy I talked about previous, you know, previous episode, and I wanted a Game Boy. But for a brief time, I collected a bunch of, you know, Marvel trading cards and a, a couple of comic books. Like I got, I went and bought like the, the famous comic book where um, Magneto rips Wolverine's adamantium out of, you know, just straight out of him. And, you know, it had this really cool tinfoil, uh, cop, uh, or lithium, like, ion lithium car. I can't remember what they're called. Those cars where you, you move it and it, like, looks different. And it was like, one like, you had to look at it just right or you couldn't see the image. It was all, like, metallic foil looking and stuff. It was, like, like rainbow colored. And it's, like, it was just stuff Gambit. It looked really cool. But, um... You know, I've gotten the, the sequel to the one with Colossus on it, where his sister's, like, dying, and they have to use this, like, Shi'ar thing on, on her face to make her well again, but it would fuck with her emotional state or something like that. I can't remember. It's been forever since I read it. I've gotten some Ghost Rider comics, some Punisher comics. So uh, I got one Silver Surfer one in there. You know, I, it's just a bunch of different comics. I, I, but, like, but even more cards. I was way more into the cards than I was the comics. So, but anyway, back to trips. So that, that's what happened in the California trip. That's really the only thing I can remember. I'm sure we must have done something while we were there. We, we took a, a week long. It was like a seven day car ride there and another seven car ride, day car ride back. So we did something. I just, so you know, we didn't stay for one, one or two days and then leave. <laughs> but um, I just can't remember it because it's all eclipsed by my burgeoning love of comic books. You again. 
Can I catch it? Maybe I can. <laughs> Stand still, you bitch. No. Come on, come on, me. Yes. So I've seen both. I've seen both oceans of the states. I've been. I've seen the Gulf of Mexico. I've seen the Pacific Ocean. I've seen the Atlantic Ocean because I also visited New York. I visited New York three times in my life, maybe. Not often, but and it was pre 9/11. I have not. I have yet to visit New York post 9/11. And I remember getting to see it all. We've seen the Statue of Liberty. We've seen, you know, oh God, another one. I'm gonna get one more successful catch and then we're gonna head out for today. Put stuff in the community center, put stuff away and probably get to bed. Cause it's already, it's going on 6.30. By the time I walk over to the community center and walk back, it's gonna be, probably definitely be time. Okay, ooh, a 43 incher, nice. Hey, Slimy. I'm gonna kill, kill Slimy. Because I still need like 99 slimes for the community center as well, so... I know I'm pretty short on that. Should I cut these? No, I can't. Just the grass. But yeah, I, I liked what I saw in New York. Um, recently, uh, about a year ago, I had a chance to go back. But, um... Because my mother was planning a trip to New York, and she invited Cindy and I along. I had to decline because months in advance, I had made, I had made um, arrangements for uh, one Mr. Griffin to come and visit, to stay for a while. And for all of you who remember my Sly Cooper series with him, that's when that happened. So I had to, I, it wasn't even a choice, it was like, I, I was gonna say, I had to choose between this or that. I had already made this plan months in advance, it was, you know, it isn't like a, you know, two could just su suddenly go, well, canceling my plane ticket now. I, you know, I'm not going to, you know, even though we made plans, you know, I guess you want to do this. I couldn't do that. That would, that'd be do, that'd be douchey. So I had to decline, but Cindy went. So she said she had a good time. She got, because she'd never been to New York. But she got, wait, why am I here? Oh yeah, community center. So I wanted, I wanted her to go. She was like, but I want to, I wanted to experience it with you. I'm like, look, go experience it. We'll experience it, we may or may not get to experience it again together. So just go now and experience it, have fun. So she, she claims she had fun, but she she says that she really wishes I was there. And I, I get that. Riverfish. Catfish. Boop. Wait, was that a, ah oh shit, that's already gone. I, I was hoping that wasn't a, a um, a gold starred one. Would skip. I know I have those. There we go. Don't have any of these though. That's all I have. It's just those three fish, right? Carp. Did I ever did I ever finish wherever carp goes? I must have, because I don't I don't see it. Okay. Done with that. Oop! What did I hit? Oops! Wrong button. Okay, so let's let's get back to bed. Let's get back to bed, and we'll continue this discussion of. Actually, I want to. I don't know why I want to do this, but I want to. I don't know why this this little pen of of weeds was just been bothering me for a while now. So we're gonna get to bed, and then we're going to. Um, you know, we're gonna talk about. One of the things that really sparked, like, the, the, the memory that sparked my, uh, desire to talk about this. My real, the, the, the real trip I took in my life. The real big one. The one that I had to go get a passport, passport for. Well, we'll talk about that tomorrow. Let's, let's, let's go get some sleep. Let's see how we did today. Let's see if we raised up any fishing. Did we get any fishing experience? That'd be nice if we did. Actually, I'm gonna have to like find a list of all the things needed for the um, community center. And go through my box and see if I have those, and just like, just grab them. Go away, go away, go away, and go away. And then here, 
No, no, not here. Here. You and you. Uh, oh, I can throw that away. You go away, throw you away, keep you. Okay. Maybe I can make some money on my junk. Don't know how much it would possibly get me, but not much I- No! No! Did I break it back? Oh, I got it back. Whew. That was almost really, 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 really dumb. Hey, sleepy time. Sleepy. Nice. Day 17. Cockle Doodle Doo. With all the cockles. Thunder and lightning expected tomorrow. Good. That means I don't have to. I don't have to, uh. Alright, neutral. Hello? Yay! Okay, I like it. It's good stuff. Money for me, and farming experience, too. So... Goodbye, 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 goodbye. I'll keep the grapes, though. Uh, yeah, I like the grapes better. The grapes bring back more stuff. I'll keep those. Oh, I need to go get my uh, watering can, don't I? So, it's now the new day. I said I would talk about certain something. The reason why this conversation even came up. This isn't a brag. I'm just, I just want to talk about the story. I actually once got to visit Spain. That was awesome, dudes. I loved Spain. I, it was for a uh, Spanish class field trip. We uh, got together and we decided to just go to Spain. You know, because like you always do that. You know, it's just one of those things you do. Again, I don't know how much space that needs, so I'm just gonna keep doing that. <laughs> so I'm 15, 16, and there's so many firsts that come with this story. It's my first time out of the country, first and foremost. Like, I had never once before left the country. But I'm do I'm doing it this day. So, I'm, like I said, I'm about... Actually, no, I think I, I think I had my driver's... No, I was... It was post-sophomore, but pre-junior year of high school. So, well, whatever age you normally are then. So, we went to Spain. It's my first time on a plane that I can remember. I know I've been on planes as a young child, but I don't remember them. Uh, so it's my first time you know, with conscious memory on a plane. When I say a child, I mean young child. I think like the last time I was on a plane before this, I was four, three or four. So yeah, I can't remember shit. back yes awesome but I still want to I still want to um limestone I give that to the uh to the duder or did I already give that to the duder I've already given that to the duder forging a local woods and mountains are great places to find wild produce good for me didn't mean to do that, but whatever. <laughs> I can't read the book. I still want to work on my house. I do. I do, I do, I do. So I know there's now things I can do. I have my iron pickaxe, so I'm happy about that. So let's start. Again, we're going to go back fishing. That's what we're going to do, because we're so close to having enough to upgrade the house. I want to upgrade my house so bad. So bad. Ooh, excuse me. Actually, we need to... Yeah, I'm gonna keep fishing at this spot. Actually, no, let's go back to the... I'm gonna go back to the, um... 
I'm gonna go back to the sea today. That's what I'm gonna. That's what I'm gonna fish today. Is back at the sea. Ooh, stuff to pick up. Oh, wormies! Why am I not holding my hoe? Of course, now that I'm over here, I don't have any use for my sword. Damn it! <laughs> I'll probably, probably put my hook. Actually, I'm gonna get rid of this, these pick up these forgeable things, and then I'm going to go put my sword away, and get out my gardening hoe, and put some other stuff away just so I have enough, like lots of room for for this little expedition, this little fishing trip. So, inserting jump cut. Ooh! Found another lost book! Thank you, Wormies! Wormies gave me a book! They're nice little Wormies, aren't they? They're so, they're so generous! Oh! Nice little frame skip there, that was interesting. Alright, let's get back to the ocean. So we can do some fishing. Some deep sea fishing! Actually, that'd be kinda cool if you could do that. i do some spear and deep sea fishing, that'd be awesome! Up there you are, I see you. I see you. Flat. Yay, Clay. Awesome. Oh. Yay, Clay. What, are, what was Clay for again? I know you guys told me I should be I should be excited about that, but I can't remember why. Train! Oh, but I want a fish. I need monies. I'll see the train someday. Train four. Let me know in the comments below. Oh my god! Sir, chill the fuck out. Come on, come on. Fuck! And even again, it has a different icon. What is that? So anyway, I'm in Spain now. Okay, I've gotten off the plane. Which actually, actually no. Let's let's start over. The plane has a like a stop off. In Amsterdam. We make a stop, a few hour stop in Amsterdam. Interesting place, gotta tell you. It's a nice place, but yeah, you know, I didn't get to see much outside of the airport. But the people there were nice. You know, that's that's basically all I can say about it. And, and not to be rude about it, but it had a bit of a smell to the air. At least in the airport, it had a bit of a smell to the air. I couldn't place it, it's one that I was unfamiliar with, so don't ask me what it was, I, I don't know. It was neither displeasing nor terrible. Uh, or rather, no, not, not terrible, but not good either. So, we get we get back on the plane, we land in Spain. We land in Barcelona. Do we land in Barcelona or do we start in Madrid? Huh. I think it was Madrid. I think we started in Madrid and we did this, like, sort of clockwork, like, clockwise spiral from Madrid, out from Madrid, all the way around, or I'm sorry, yeah, from Madrid, all the way around until we wound back up at Barcelona. And we left from Barcelona. So we're in Madrid. Beautiful city, oh my god. It's something I've, I've never really experienced living in America all my life. Because in America, our, our way of doing things is to get rid of the old and replace it with the new at all available, you know, if it's available to do, do that's what we do. Tuna, yummy. Mix that with some Miracle Whip, mm, yummy yum. But um, our way of doing this is to get rid of the old, replace it with the new whenever, and you know, as soon as and whenever possible. In Spain, just looking around, there's this beautiful combination of old and new, just everywhere. There's like old, just combined with the new, like the old, like the, they updated the old while keeping the history and culture of the old. It's fascinating. Again, this is um pre two thousand, uh, pre nine eleven as well. So keep that in mind. Ooh, I see, I see a thing. Can I get that? Can I throw my rod that far? Almost. I wonder if that counts. 
But, um... Even the insides, like, everything is like, this is beautiful style that you just don't see here in the States, and I loved it. Actually, it was kind of funny, the first hotel we stayed in, uh, I'll be honest, the, the walls were thin, and it was, um, it was kind of funny because you could almost, you could hear a telephone ring, and it just became a cacophony of whatever the telephone would ring. You would just hear, um, because this is an inside joke from Spanish class. Very few people could say telefono, right? Because they didn't put the emphasis on the second A. Telefono. It wasn't telefono, it was telefono. And, um, so you would just hear, like, the Spanish class, whenever the telephone would ring somewhere in the hotel, you'd hear my Spanish class going, telefono! Just in a chorus. It was so funny. But it was also on that first night, there was only three boys, and the rest were all girls in the class. At least on the trip. And, um... We're sitting there in the, in the room, we had this one annoying as fuck kid, he was just... I don't know if he had ADD or what, but he was annoying as all balls. He was hyper, he would never shut the fuck up. And... He and the other boy decided... You know what we're gonna do? We went out... And we bought cigarettes because it's legal for us to do so here. Do you want? Do you want the cigarettes? And I went. Mm, I don't know. No t-shirt around, just the three of us in the room. Why the fuck not? There's no smoke alarm in here. Let's do it. I took a single drag off that cigarette, and I thought I was gonna fucking die. My lung, my my lungs hurt. My it felt like my throat was, like, seizing up. I... I th I threw that back at him, and I was like, Get this fucking thing away from me. No, fuck this. Like, I oh, just need to try it a couple more times. You get the heck... No, fuck you. Fuck you. I could... This is, like, 20 minutes later, by the way, where I'm sitting there gasping for breath. And I just could not take it. I couldn't take it. So I, I never went back to smoking. So... It's funny. Smoking actually... Got me out of smoking. <laughs> I was like, fuck this shit. Ooh, you're- are you new? I don't remember having a halibut before. I, I might have, but I don't remember. So... And it was also... Within the first couple of days, I had had sangria for the first time in my life. I... Did not know that sangria was an alcoholic drink. So I- I was like, ooh, this is a very tasty fruity beverage. I had... Four or five of them? And by say four or five of them, glass is about yay tall. And... I'll tell you right now, I honestly don't remember getting back to the hotel room. I just remember waking up the next day. Luckily, I still had all my stuff on me. One of the things I didn't like about it, and this has nothing to do with Spain. But Spain was beautiful from the... We were- we went to all kinds of beautiful places, palaces, and museums, and just all kinds of beautiful places. But the one thing I didn't like, and this wasn't Spain's fault, is that every- except for the very first day, every day, they're like, Oh, Americans in Spain? We will feed them pasta. That's what they want. They want pasta. I had pasta every fucking day we were there. This is, you know, and these were like meals and stuff. Um, planned for by the by the company who did the the trip, you know. So it was just like by the end of it, I was like, I never want to see a plate of spaghetti again in my life. I'm done. Take your spaghetti and shove it. Like for about a year, my mother would make spaghetti, at, you know, for dinner. And I'd be like, can, can we have something else, please? I had more than enough spaghetti when I was in Spain. I don't need more, please. The first day, we had this kind of interesting dish that involved, like, um, a sunny-side-up egg over rice with some marinara. And you're supposed to, like, put the sunny-side-up egg on top of the rice, and then, you know, mix it- Whoa! Hello! You're- you're really new! Okay, you know what? Because I don't know if you go in the community center or not. You're gonna go- That was cool! That was a fight! Jesus! And you're supposed to, like, put- the egg on top of the rice, mix the marinara on- I think it was marinara, sauce on top, and then you're supposed to mix it all up. That was pretty good. I liked that. 
It was like a, obviously it was for breakfast, like the for the first morning after we got there. And other than that, like, like I said, it was a beautiful trip. I loved it. If you can visit Spain, if you have the chance to do so, do it. Whew. Loved it. People were nice. It was a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful place. And nope, nothing here. Oh. Okay, I did I did bring a tuna previously. Got it. Okay, sea cucumber is not a thing I can give to the uh, community center. Got it. Hopefully it gives me lots of money. I'm hoping for lots of money. But, um, so, I think, like, the only other story I can really tell that I can really remember, like, I actually, I, we were in Toledo. Uh, we went, we visited Toledo. I don't remember a lot of the city names. Just the three, Bar Madrid, uh, Toledo, and Barcelona. And... I remember buying, I bought some swords there because I, I was into that for a while. Uh, I actually got to walk on the running of the bulls road, like the road they actually do the running of the bulls. And I got to see the, the, the big Colosseum where they do that. Ooh, it's a, it's even a, a gold one too. That better fetch me lots of money. Uh, what else did I do there? So just you know, a bunch of touristy things, you know. Nothing super fantastic, I think. Okay. Oh, I forgot to check my... I keep forgetting to check out my mushrooms. Bad me. I was around here somewhere. <laughs> Hello? Ooh, a new type of mushroom. I've never had you before. A uh, chanterelle. Actually, I think I may have had one of those before, now that I think about it. That name sounds familiar. Ah, I have. There it is. Okay. Okay. So let's see if this if this breaks the bank. If I'm able to get over ten thousand now. I, there was one time I actually got um I actually got scared by a living statue. I didn't realize that's what it was. In front of one of the palacey looking places it was a living statue. I know it was going it was going right through his head. He was like, "I got this kid. I got this kid." Only in Spanish. He was. He thinks in Spanish because he speaks in Spanish. I don't know what that is in Spanish. Because I stand sort of in front of him and off to the side a little bit, looking out on the street. That's like up, up some steps, like to the palacey thingy. And I'm looking around because I'm waiting for one of my classmates to show up because so they were like, hey, we want to go see this thing. Have you heard of it? I'm like, no, I haven't heard of it. I want to go see this thing. So they're like, okay, we'll meet you in front of blah and we'll, we'll take you to thing. So I'm sitting there. I'm waiting. Winning. I look at the look at the living statue. He's you know doing his pose, his thing, and I I'm waiting. The minutes go by. He does a different pose, but a slightly other. I think it was like he had like one arm up, but then the arm was down. I look back. I just I thought I thought he mis misremembered it. So I look back, and I know he was thinking, "I got this kid. I got him." He quietly like a fucking weeping angel from Doctor Who moved up behind me one step behind me and knelt you know crouched down so that when I turned around we would be eye level I turn statue's gone I turn around and I lose it I fucking lose it I jump out of my skin and fall back <laughs> luckily we were only a few steps up but I actually fall backwards down the stairs Onto the floor, I'm looking at him, and <laughs> everyone's laughing. There's people everywhere pointing and laughing, because I, I should have known, because there were people stopped in front of me, because I'm still looking up and down the road. And people are stopped, and they're looking, and they're speaking Spanish, like, pointing. I thought they were just pointing at the statue, like, oh, look at the statue. Some of them are giggling. They're pointing at me. They're pointing at me. I didn't, I didn't get it until I turned around, and he just, just right there in my face. Scared the shit out. He walked out. He helped me up. He's like, he asked me in Spanish. And, and, you know, I think, I don't remember it now, but I didn't know an inkling of Spanish back then. He asked me if I was okay. I said, I said, yeah, yeah. And I said, yeah, yeah. I didn't say it in Spanish. He went, well, uh, Americano. And I went, see, sí, see, sí, uh, uh, 
hablo, hablo más, más pequeño español. And he went, ah. And he's just patted me on the back. He helped me up, patted me off. And he gave me the thumbs up. And he went back to his post and struck a pose and stood there. That was crazy to me. <laughs> I'd never seen the living statue until that day. That was, that was so fucked up. But I got like in, in Barcelona, the, the last few days we were there, I got to see this awesome cathedral being built or, or like renovated, like these awesome mega towers. It was beautiful. Spain has such a wonderful, I got to see the, the train station in Madrid. It was just beautiful country, beautiful, 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 beautiful country. I want to visit there again, at least once in my life. Uh, there's so many places I want to visit. And maybe that'll be a topic for another episode. Places I want to visit. Because I've talked about places I have visited. Like I said, I'm not a giant world, world really weary traveler yet. Maybe someday. Maybe next, next episode, we'll talk about places I want to visit. So in the comments below, tell me some places you guys have visited. Tell me some of your fun, fun vacation stories. And that'd be something fun to, to talk about together. Because I'd like to hear about what other people have done. Hello. Lightning Rod. Wild seals, weeds, seeds fall. Okay, and a warp totem. What? What are these things? Nifty. I can upgrade my house now. I'm gonna put food in my face. Oh yeah. And I almost have enough for another upgrade. I don't have enough iron so we're gonna next episode we're probably gonna go back mining we're gonna go back to the mines because i have a better pickaxe and we're gonna see if we can find more iron ore maybe some gold ore for all i know who knows and we can upgrade the rest of the tools the hoe the this that and the other whatever else can be upgraded the watering can actually watering can is probably going to be next so guys with all that i'm going to end this episode here i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you enjoyed listening to you know, stories of places I've been. And I'd like to hear some of yours. Until then, however, let me know if you liked this episode with a like, comment, subscribe, share it, or you can click on the annotations for other videos I've done. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next time.